Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's review of the Revit Paramount GTX One Piece Textile Suit. The concept of a textile one-piece suit isn't exactly new, but Revit are the latest company to give their take on something that's designed to give us as riders the ultimate convenience. If you've ever seen a suit from Aerostitch, then you'll recognize this design straight away. Aerostitch are an American company who've become famous for their one-piece textile suits, and they're still going strong today. Rucker and Climb have both tried to emulate the Aerostitch design over the past few years. Neither of their suits are still available in their official UK collections, so it'll be interesting to see if this one takes off in a way those two suits didn't. There's a lot to run through here, but in essence, this is a laminated three-layer Gore-Tex suit that quickly zips over the top of your normal clothes, which makes commuting much easier. You don't even need to take your boots off to put the suit on or to take it off. To put it on, slide your right foot through the entry point at the waist and then put the jacket section over each shoulder to get the top half of the suit on. You then do up a full length zip on the right leg and fasten an even longer zip on the left which runs from the ankle all the way to the collar. I've had plenty of practice now and it takes me about 40 seconds to put this suit on and about 20 seconds to remove it again. That's not as quick as some people could get into and out of an aerostitch suit but the main zip from ankle to collar on this suit isn't as easy to do up as an aerostitch zip and there's a good reason for that. It's a lot more resistant to rain. This suit runs a Tizip Master Seal Fastener, which is very heavy duty and it's incredibly protective in wet weather. It's the same type of zip that's used in dry suits for whitewater rafting and sea kayaking. So that shows that it's pretty serious. Now it's crucial with a one piece suit like this to have an effective fastener as water can pool at the midriff and that can flood a normal zip. I've ridden in very heavy rain for an hour in this suit twice and not a drop of water has passed through that zip. My old waterproof boots couldn't resist the water and my socks were pretty well soaked, but this suit kept me bone dry. The outer uses nylon with some stretch panels made from Revit's PWR material at the lower back to help you when you're folded into the riding position. There are expansion pleats behind each shoulder and then fit adjuster belts at the forearms, the waist and the calves, which are really important because the Paramount needs to be versatile in terms of its fit. There's no warmth layer inside this suit, so it needs to fit over warmer, thicker clothes in winter, as well as it fits over thinner, cooler clothes in summer. For those summer rides, there are four very large vents. You get two at the chest and then one on each thigh. All four of those open up with zips and Velcro to reveal large mesh airflow panels, which in my experience work well at letting air come through. They're held back with fiddlock fasteners, which are like magnetic hooks, and they make it very easy to open and close the vents. In winter, you're able to wear a heated vest or jacket underneath as there's a port at the left hip for a power cable to poke out without compromising on waterproofing. At the neck, there's a popper panel to stop the zip puller flapping around in the wind. And there's also a zip off Gore-Tex storm collar provided with the suit. I normally find collars like that obstructive and uncomfortable, but I was okay with this one and it helped me stay dry. So it was worth persevering with that. At the back of the neck, there's a strap to hang the suit up. That's a common thing with Revit jackets, but it's especially useful for hanging this one from a coat hook. There are two anti-slip panels on the seat and they work very well on this V-Strom 800DE Suzuki that I rode when reviewing the suit. There's only one pocket on the outside. It's a large one on the right thigh. It fastens with a fold over flap and that's secured with poppers. Revit describe it as waterproof. Now I didn't believe it could actually be waterproof, but I have grown to trust that pocket after those two rides in very heavy rain. There's another pocket on the inside, a small one, but Revit say they didn't want any more than that because the suit's meant to go over clothes that have their own pockets anyway. The inside of this suit is pretty stripped back, but it is where you'll find the armor. There's Revit's C-Flex armor at the shoulders, elbows, and knees, and that all meets the higher level two of the CE impact protection standard. There's also thin, flexible C-Smart armor at the hips. That meets the basic level one of the CE standard. And then there's a C-Soft back protector that meets the higher level two. The shoulder, elbow and hip protectors are all in pockets that are velcroed to the inside of the suit, which means you can reposition those pockets slightly to suit you. The overall CE rating for the Paramount suit in general is AA, and that's the middle of three pass levels in the most recent standard. In terms of sizing, the Paramount runs from small up to 3XL, which is a range from a 38 inch chest up to 52 inches. There are also three lengths to help tailor the fit, which is vital in here as a one piece suit is always trickier to get fitted than a two piece, as there's no way to mix and match top half and bottom half sizes. This is a small in regular length and I find it fits me well, and my sizes are showing on the screen now if that helps you 
you to get an idea of sizing. The fit is quite snug for me, but I have room underneath for a windproof fleece to help me stay warm. In temperatures of around eight degrees Celsius, I was comfortable enough like that. But on one colder day, I tried fitting a down jacket in for extra insulation and I couldn't get the suit done up over the top. That for me is gonna be the hardest part to gauge with this suit, leaving enough room for winter layers without making it too baggy to use in summer. I would relax the waist adjusters as far as they'll go and then choose a size that gives me room for a warm lining on the inside. Then tightening the adjusters should give a good fit when you don't need the insulation in summer. I've worn this suit for around 600 miles and it has made my commute a lot easier. To be dressed and ready to ride in less than a minute is very good news for someone who's as impatient as me. And to have it peeled off and ready to get on with my day within 20 seconds of getting to work is also really handy. In the depths of winter, it has been a bit of a challenge to stay warm, but in temperatures around high single figures, say 10 degrees Celsius, I have been comfortable. Overall, the Paramount's been absolutely faultless at keeping me dry in some horrible rain, and it's also been comfortable to wear. Now, a couple of things I do feel I need to mention. The main T-zip fastener is very stiff, and it doesn't flex easily over the midriff. That can feel awkward when walking and sometimes also when getting on and off the bike, although it hasn't been a problem while I've been riding. Also, I'd suggest being careful when doing up the main zip as it can get stuck because it takes a fair amount of pressure to fasten it. On a couple of occasions, I've not realized that the fabric flap behind the zip's been jammed. And when that gets jammed, it's very difficult to free it. Both times it's happened to me, I've had to step out of the suit to be able to pull the fabric free from the zip. So now I've had to learn not to rush when putting the suit on and take lots of care to make sure that fabric doesn't get caught in the runner. But overall, as I probably said earlier, I've been very impressed with this suit. Now we have to discuss price though. The Revit Paramount Gore-Tex suit costs £1,599.99 as we record this, and that is admittedly a big ticket price. But if you went for Revit's Dominator 3 jacket and jeans, which is made from the same Gore-Tex laminated fabric, then you're looking at more than £2,000. With this, you get everything in one. So if the convenience of just whipping off your riding kit and being immediately dressed for normal life is something that appeals to you, I'd say the price is high, but the value is good. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Revit Paramount Gore-Tex suit, but if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.